Aloha everybody, welcome back to vlogs. Hope you're doing great this morning or whenever you're watching this vlogs, I hope you're happy. I hope you're just doing great. As you can see, we are up in the Misty Mountains. <laughs> we are on the road to Hana. People in Hawaii, or people who've ever been to Hawaii know what this is. We're here with Ina again, Brittany. We stopped here at the Ching store to get some gas. This is such a quaint little shop. Just so cute. Gonna get some coffee. Gonna. I think we're making our way. We're going to the bamboo forest, and we're just gonna be exploring today. So it's a good day so far. Grandma's coffee house. This is literally in the middle. There's no service here, so this coffee house is in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Almond milk coffee. Ina just got us. And we're road tripping in the Mustang. Ina's desperate to sit in the back. Even though he's like twice the same. Check this out. <laughs> this is awesome. What is that? The great American uh, chocolate product. <laughs> chocolate blob. Chocolate blob? This coffee's really good. Thanks, Grandma's Coffee House, mm -hmm. for serving. And Ina. And Ina. Now, let's go. Look at just how lush the forests are. Everything has leaves on them. And we're just stopped in the middle of the road because there's no cars. It's just beautiful. In. This road is getting to be insane, and it's raining. And it, there's like cliffs. This road's like dirt, and quite the adventure. Are you nervous, Ina? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my best. Here. Yeah, thank you. I won't vlog and drive down this. <laughs> thank you. Look how steep this is, though. It's a major cliff. The cliff is like right see, there. Great job on that glob oh. of concrete. <laughs> Cover yeah. that little Frick. straight drop. Dude, that clip is just right like... here. You have to blow horn, it says. Yeah. I, I did it. Dip. You dip, I dip, we dip. I'm blowing horn. I think you were only supposed to do it one time. Okay. Check out that bug, guys. It's covered in coconut. Coconut husk, they built that. This is a little shack. What'd you just say to us, Ina? This is the shack I built Ow. back in 2011. And David has it and added more stuff to it, yeah. My friend John Costello, he's an artist um, from the 60s. He was living up there and they should come here on weekends to spend time with him. And I wanted to build a, sh a shack over here so we clear up this whole land property right here we cut it all down and then we built up the rock walls and built the shack the original shack and this what? is it and this guy enhanced it that's so cool yep ah oh, they make jewelry yep we got some mud up here that's awesome that's so cool look at this railing it's not even like the net the net broke the net broke what is this, this is sketchy freaking sketch it's Still. like the railing has been deteriorated by the ocean. See, look ahead. It's like <laughs> salt water. Yeah, yeah salt water. Look at all that. I bet if you hit that, it'd just break immediately. Yeah, for sure. It's like, what is it holding up? The ground's deteriorating, falling apart. Wow. We made it, guys. And this is where we're going. About a mile walk. It is a little rainy. Hopefully, my shoes don't get dirty, but they're probably going to get dirty, so oh well. I'm just stoked to see the bamboo forest even before we get here. We've just heard all about it. It's a really cool picture taking area, video area. And since it's been raining, lots of water. Brittany's going no shoes mode, like a local. That man, he, he would never wear shoes. What are you doing? 
Did you see the bush as deodorant? He said he smells, he said he smells like a hippie. <laughs> But guys, check out this tree. How? What? The thing I find fascinating about this tree is how the branches come out, but then they also come down and plant themselves into the ground throughout the whole thing. Like, how cool is this? Imagine how old this is. It's nuts. Straight out of Jungle Book or something. We've made it to the bridge. Look at Britt. She is a beast. How do your feet feel? They hurt really bad. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Who wants to whitewater raft? Welcome to the entrance of Bamboo Forest. Holy cow! This is so epic. I'm managing to keep my shoes fairly clean. I'm pretty proud of myself. But, fun fact, Ina was telling us that bamboo takes five years just to grow out of the ground. So you have to water every day for five years, these things. And then, once they finally sprout, it takes as soon as 90 days for them to grow like 30 feet. Pretty crazy. I feel, I feel like we can all learn a life lesson from bamboo. How you have to stay patient and consistent in your life. And then once you get to that one point in your life, you'll finally sprout and bloom. So whatever you're working at guys in life, stay patient, stay consistent, and you'll get there. Darn it. Look how cool that looks. So funny. Everybody keeps stopping Brittany and we're like, where are your shoes? Whoa, jeez. <laughs> they're, they're like baffled that she has no shoes, but there's no worries. It's, it's like soft. You get a foot massage. This is insane. I wish you all could see this in person, but hopefully you're enjoying the video footage of it. Like, I just find it insane. I can't believe how much bamboo is here. Like, how did it get all in this area? Got the, got the cannon out, taking pics, but it keeps getting closer and closer, the bamboo. <sighs> okay, we just spent like 10 minutes within the bamboo, got bit by a ton of mosquitoes just for some Instagram pics. But you guys gotta go check them out. We both got some pretty sick ones. We do have some bug spray, but it's not really working. <laughs> maybe it is, maybe it's not, but... Whoa! So, we're, I think there's a waterfall up here. We've been walking for probably like a mile plus, so... Oh, this is cool. It's like a path across the waterfall. The mini waterfall. Oh, I want to just dive in this water. It's so hot. I know, right? It's so good. Yeah. It's raining bad out here now. Oh, he's taking a picture. <laughs> Check it, guys. We made it to the waterfall. So cool. Can't even cross right here. It's like flash flood area. We finally... We got back. That was epic. So hot. So tiring. But I'm glad to be back. Time to go get some food or something. Nice little water bottle on our way out. Hey guys. Hey. Goodbye. 
Oh, after that hike, we are starving. And we just found this epic food truck in the middle of nowhere here in Hana. Like, it's called Hana Burger Food Truck. I'm desperate for a burger now. You, Britt? How was the hike, by the way? Oh, my feet hurt so bad. And this is why I didn't want to get these babies dirty, even though they're know. already dirty. I got these a little dirty. It's like, we should have brought our... But... We didn't realize we were going in, like, tough terrain. Otherwise, I would have been smarter and... But it was so worth it. So worth it! <laughs> I can't believe you did half of that. We, we did... She did half with uh, no shoes, and then I did half with no shoes, but... Anyways, yes! Oh, so hungry. Can't wait to eat. Do the honors, Britt. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my, barbecue burgers. I think these come with bacon too. Yep, get that bacon, guys. His looks pretty fabulous as well. Wow, five star dinner ish. Because we're having more food later. But we were just so hungry. This place is so good. And I was just telling Brittany when we get a house, it'd be so cool to have a backyard like this. Just like picnic tables, a lot of open space. Oh, I just love it out here. This is just so cool. We're stopping at the uh, Red Sand Beach now. Because this is a really cool area we've heard. And the sand's red, so yeah. Get to scale the walls now. The adventures don't stop here in more day still. Check it out, Red Sand Beach. Yeah, it's starting to rain now. Camera's getting all wet, but just thought we'd show you guys this too. All right, we finally made it back to the hotel. What a action-packed day it's been. How long do you think we've been driving for, Britt? Today. Well, like since it was raining out, you've been driving. You know what I mean? Like we didn't. We spent most of the time in the car, which was fine. <laughs> but oh man, what time did we start? Like eight? We yeah. Eight. We just got back, and it's like eight. Probably like five, six hours in the car. But we had so many good talks. Such a productive day in the car, exploring. I just, I feel so good. I feel great too. Brittany feels great. We're just excited to get back in to our room and get some sleep. Yeah, it's we're tired. Like a, it's gonna be like a huge turning point in my life for sure. Yeah, Brittany's had some really great breakthroughs and we're just so grateful for Ina. He is such a great guy, guys. You should definitely, if you haven't checked out his, his uh, merch company, you should totally check it out. It's Booby Shack, it's like literally both of our favorite brand. Oh, yes, and he's just such a great guy too. So links will be in the description for that. And if you're ever in Hawaii, he's, he teaches surfing. He'd love to show you guys how to surf. That's what he did for us. Super easy, super fun. But yeah, I'm just, I'm stoked to be back here at the Fairmont. Oh, and it's so beautiful coming back here. Fairmount Kiolani.